Okay, our topic for this segment is all about piston rings. As I've checked all around, all they talk about is what the manual says or the box says. Like which side goes up, second ring orientation, not so much on its design purpose or function that will give you more ideas on how to make power or build a stronger engine. So let's look into it further. Now here we have the top ring or the first ring or compression ring. It is the shiny one on the ring pack. It is usually stainless steel or chrome steel. Some extreme applications are actually steel nitrided for more strength and durability. That's because it's like the front liner of the battlefield. It's the first line that faces the combustion heat and has to seal while enduring all that. Now here we have the second ring. While 20% of its work is to seal the few escape combustion gases that pass the top ring. Its main job is to scrape oil and keep oil below its level. That's why it's called a scraper ring. So when your engine smokes, 95% of the time, it's the second ring's fault. And lastly, the oil ring, which is more properly named or called oil control rings. It comprises of two thin rings, namely spacer ring and an expander in the middle. The expander does two jobs. It pushes spacer ring top and bottom to be stable and distributing the oil around its bore for better lubrication and less friction. And now to the NPR piston rings for the VTI project that we have. We get it from GLS Auto Parts and Accessories and Services. They are located in Antipolo along the circumferential road. After you pass the Inaris Stadium, they are a few kilometers ahead across Petron. They are on the right side. We get main bearings, rod bearings, valve seals, everything from them. Links will be in the description below to see their page. Now we open up the box and show you guys. We will start with the top ring or compression ring. Just to show you, it's always or almost always the shiny one because it's stainless steel or a chrome steel or even nitrided. As you can see, it's really shiny. The top marks will be the one facing up just in case you put it upside down and this is the second ring or scraper ring as you can see it's a lot darker because it's a malleable steel that would actually conform to the shape of the bore to be able to scrape it better this way it doesn't smoke now on to the oil control rings we will show you the expander and the spacer ring. Let's see. Gotta tear the plastic up to get it out. Oh, there. Okay. This is the spacer ring. That's the that's the thin part, or the thin ones. And this is the expander. As you can see, it's spring-like shape. It's to hold oil longer or retain it during motion. So we'll, we'll try to put it together like as if it is in the piston itself. All right. There. That's how it is when it's installed in the pistons. And all of these parts came from GLS Auto Parts Accessories and Services. So check them out whenever you need something on your build. Now here is a PHK piston I sawed in half. Yes, hand saw. Just to show you guys how piston ring stability and durability relies on the piston design itself. Now here the rings are in place. As you can see, ring stability would actually really, really depend on how the pistons are designed or designed well. So it goes hand in hand for performance and durability. Looks interesting, right? 
it's something that we don't see every day or we don't usually see a piston cut in half now let me show you something else these are the pm3 pistons we balanced previously as i mentioned earlier about the oil rings notice on the intake side it has three holes this is for when the piston is pushing down crank ice pressure helps squeeze out oil to minimize friction this is where the scraper ring becomes really really important even in aftermarket pistons like this supertech 84 millimeter notice the exhaust side and intake side has three holes that's because it has the most friction on both sides as it comes up or goes down so to prevent wear or minimize wear it is done this way even on our custom arias pistons designed by bisimoto it has actually even more holes to help reduce friction as you can see it comes from the bottom this way crankcase pressure would help spread out oil from the oil control rings and i'd like to give a shout out to an up and coming channel named john's moto vlog if you like good surroundings good views the countrysides as they are from naga city down south his dad also owns a motorcycle shop so we can expect fun contents soon here's the shop address so in case you guys are around the city feel free to visit them or get services done by them